welcome to another rubber little video i'm back at it with final fantasy 16 pretty much picking up right where we left off i appreciate everyone who has tuned in the rebel family you guys are all appreciated both new and old and yeah let's get into it I'm trying to finish up the mission fire in the sky let's head out to the hideaway How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another rises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. <sighs> Things fall apart. The power of light. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. Atoning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing it continuous damage. Abilities are found in the Abilities tab in the main menu. Bahamut's feet. Use Bahamut's iconic feet wings of light to begin casting mega flare an immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with a deluge of searing light the longer the spell is charged the more powerful the results press circle to cast the spell when ready taking damage while casting will cancel the spell all right so we got bahamut's abilities the power of light looks pretty dope on the side let's see how it is in real time let's do it Disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Let's go check in with Otto. If I do, I think now is a good time to check out the abilities. People are gossiping about the Phoenix. <laughs> Crazy. so we got the new ability for bahamut based on how this looks i could tell we got space for about two more over here so there's probably two more abilities that i just haven't gotten yet this is the wings of light not bad just pretty much flying around That's dope, fire breath. And impulse. Not bad. That's cool. All right, the Giga Flare looks really dope. I think I'm gonna 
try to save up to be able to do that and then take from there i could also upgrade some of my abilities but i'll just save it for now Mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme to those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Let's check in with Vivian first. that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe. Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, Fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning a Kashik in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Walud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. 
Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. All right, on to the next person. Seems like the King of Walud might be the next target, but let's see how it goes. the skies is there anything you don't know lawsman <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious as for what has disturbed the heavens that i believe is a question the fallen might be better placed to answer than i and on the sixth day did the gods tear the sun from the firmament visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters but I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a Kashyyyk at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalamil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means, there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Alright, let's do it. Seems like I gotta go to Delama. Let's check it out. All right, so I got three places on the map to go to. Let's check this one out first. Let's talk to my guy. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Ah, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. 
What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the Desert Hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. All right, let's do it. Suppose we just follow the shouting. Man, these guys got slaughtered. Wow. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood. It's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid and Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos, and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime... Perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Port back to Lubor. See what he has to say. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... ...he'd let them choose for themselves... ...and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, 
it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. Check out what the two sides got to say. Ah, here she is. The lady of the spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The Pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. On to the next one, Natalie. Let's see what you gotta say. If I had my pickaxe, I would... I mean, it may still be possible to buy something, and we may yet be allowed to keep it. Yes, but... <sighs> ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill, at your service. Underhill? I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. 
If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good, merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. It appears I have no choice but to do what little I can to defend what little we have. But I would not see any unnecessary blood spilt. We need a plan. All right. Seems like everybody's working on something. Let's go talk to Victor. Chances are Mommy. we're going to have to pick up the pieces after another bandit attack. But let's see how it goes. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. All right, looks like we got a whole side to take out. Let's do it. Let's hold them off as long as we can. Great opportunity to test out our new abilities. I'll take that one. Super dope. <laughs> so I just got wings. That's so crazy. This is dope. out of here so i could just hold this ability for a while too it's not like it just goes away really dope to me burn this mage up big hit Seems like this guy might be worth locking onto, but I'm in no rush to take him out. It's been a little while since I had some good combat.
big hit. Forget this guy has that poisonous mist. I gotta be careful of. Got him. Fully staggered. Let's run it up. This does a lot of damage. And I could just hold it out, too. This is crazy. Force with force. That's a beautiful parry. Got all of that moving. Big hit. Halfway staggered. Oh, he's not going to make it. <laughs> wow, he got me. Got him. Beautiful counter. Enemy slain. Reaping the spoils. That was dope. Took out one whole side to myself. Wonder how the other side is doing. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Come now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. Quest complete. Down the rabbit hole. Works for me. Just keep it moving. On to the next destination. Alright, Martha's Rest. Let's check it out. Let's head into the shop, talk to Martha. This man's gonna die if we don't get him. Place looks just as bad as the last one. Good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Another quest. 
Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. Doesn't look like it's too far away either, so let's go check that out. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? All right, almost made it to the falling gate. Let's see what they got to say. Clive, wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. Let's do it. Still trying to figure out this wing move a little bit. Got him. The blight we were going up against got a nice level upgrade, but they still don't seem to be much of a challenge. They don't attack often enough. So they end up just being more like sponge enemies Over here. this is dope I, I actually like the new abilities that we have especially the fact that this fire just lasts so long i can see it being a real big help when i'm taking on big boss enemies Nice. That's dope. <laughs> this is dope. Got him. Enemy slain. Wow, that's dope. All right, so I finally figured out the wing move and how to do it better than I thought it would be. That's awesome. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Alright, let's go check it out. More enemies to take down. Why not? My, my brothers. Mad dogs. 
Man, the people are really shaking up. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. All right. Dope to have Wade back in the fold. But what is this? <laughs> That's a monster turtle. Nice. Pretty much wiped the floor with everybody here. Studying the move set. Seems like a real snapping turtle too. That's crazy. Nice. Big hit by him. Have to cut the move short. Nice. Turtle earned my full attention. Seems like attacking from the sides is the best approach, but makes a lot of sense wow that was a big hit i was trying to figure out how i did that move the last time I know I can do it, I just haven't seemed to figure it out fully yet. It's completely lighting them up with the flames. Got him. Nice. That's a massive hit. Let's try this one. He's almost down for the count. He's got to be a little bit patient. Halfway stagger, but he might not make it to that. This should do it. Got him. Enemy slain. Really dope how they brought out this turtle boss. <laughs> it's a nice surprise. Things are crafting. Let's keep it moving. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. 
You've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde? Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Looks like we got more to take out. I don't mind at all. See what's happening on the other side of Martha's Rest. Seems like I'm supposed to come this way, although I'm not quite familiar with this side as much. There we go. It's across the bridge we helped build earlier in the game. Looks like things has come full circle around. Wow, we haven't faced these type of goblins since like the beginning of the game, really. That's a big hit. Just lighten these guys up. <laughs> this is so dope to me. He tried it. Nice. Wow, they got chuckaballs that's corrupt too. That's tough. Light them up. Another one just joined the fire. Not that smart. Nice. One more to go. Nice. Something's coming. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, Sir Wade. Shall we? Alright. So this should be more of a challenge. <laughs> Try to take out some of these other guys a little bit first. Now you have my full attention. Give them everything we got. Good job of teleporting. Gotta be careful of these orbs. So far, so good on the damage. Run it up on them. Halfway staggered already. Giving them nothing short of the business.
Got him! He never stood a chance. Enemy slain. Really dope. Reading the spoils, alright. Nothing but crafting. Let's keep it moving. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. Flames of War. Alright. Another one in the books. Still got one more to go. Cool, we got a new scarf that will be displayed in Clive's chambers. Alright, that's good to me. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are... I mean to say that... Uh, the... It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. All right, got a new squire on this mission. Oscar, I guess I'll see him around the hideaway. Looks like our work here is done. Let's move on to the next destination. North Reach, here we come.
First we find Isabel. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go find Isabel. She's usually at the inn. Or the brothel. Let's go check her out. It's most likely gonna be a similar mission. We gotta Sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A Kashik, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. All right, let's go check out Isabel, see what she got going on at the garrison. Another mission on deck. Why we fight. Ah, uh, let's go this way. Seems like we're going to have a lot of enemies on our hands in this mission. Should be dope. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall. Because they are my charges, and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with her. Oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Ahem. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Let's see what the survivors got to say. Man, these guys are in brutal condition. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. My family. They're still in the capital. I'm sorry, darling. I truly oh, am. Oh. It's all right. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. 
Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. All right, so we this looks like a sizable journey. But... Let's see what we could do to get to more. I'll probably fast forward for you guys. I see you there. It was all they could do to escape. Let's have a little bit of a detour. Why not? See if these dragons really pack a punch. This would be easy. Wow, you just knocked me right off <laughs> of my tucker bow. Partially staggered, let's go for the full thing. Partially staggered. Nice. It should do it. Got him. All right. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's get back on task. <laughs> it's pretty easy to get distracted in this open field. There's a lot of enemies just lurking because of the blight. Man, if all three destinations, the blight is like pretty much upon them. It's kind of crazy. Slay the enemies. Light these guys up. Might be overkill, but why not? New enemies. That little bit of protection ain't gonna hold you down. <laughs> you guys aren't strong enough to really put a dent in my armor. Got him. Those little abilities ain't doing nothing for you. Wow, I'm upset I missed that one. Nice. More enemies are coming in. This guy I actually have to pay attention to. He could be dangerous if left unchecked. Dodge the wrong way, but now you have my full attention.
Nice. Partially staggered. I have to take this guy pretty seriously He's starting to do a lot of damage a lot of damage fully staggered Made it through all of his moves. Almost got me again. This should do it. Nice. Enemy slain. Big time kill. That dude did a lot more damage than I expected. Can't sleep on anyone. say we've done what we can for the time being then we should let isabel know you have the town's thanks don't thank us yet there will be more, many more, and you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts, for now at least. <laughs> Hearing that the Dane would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed to convince him. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Quest complete. Why we fight. All right, another one in the books that takes care of all three. Might have to go back to the hideaway to see what happens next. Friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. Let's go check in with Otto. Let him know the good news. We were able to take care of all three things. Was wondering when you turn up. Had owls from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos, and the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, right. 
Clive. We knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies, Bob. But you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you. Even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <laughs> Joshua! <coughs> Clive! It's Gav! <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <coughs> Whoa. 
Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all Talia told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the Free Cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. Right. We travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. Alright, so we... Finally got a mission with Joshua at our side. Should be really dope. Gotta travel to the next destination. So I'm gonna end this video here. I do wanna say thank you for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. All of the members, welcome to the Rebel family. Appreciate you guys. All the returning ones, appreciate you as well. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me. I'll be back with more parts pretty soon. Till then, it's Rebel Lil. I'm out. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.